Hello there, my name is Adam and I welcome you all to my space. If today is your first time stopping here, by please kindly do well to subscribe to this channel. If you already subscribed, thank you, you are my real MVP. Today we are making some lamu mutadi or fisherman's stew. People also call it fancy fancy. I'll be using some palm oil. I have here ginger, garlic, some anise and calabash nutmeg. I have tomatoes, pepper, onion, my salt. And the king, some tilapia over here. So let's get right into the cooking process. I have scaled and prepared my tilapia already. Okay, I have scaled it. I've removed the fins and everything already. So I'll just cut it into into two. I'll just cut it into two and start cooking with it. So that's what I'm doing. Just cutting it up. I have my ginger, garlic, onion, my rosemary, anise, and I'll add my tomatoes, pepper, everything, and blend everything all together. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just cutting my tomatoes into pieces. Add my pepper. I'll add some salt. Add a little bit of water, just a little water. Cover it. Blend everything together. So let's cook this The cooking has begun. I'll just pour. A little of my pepper on uh, tomatoes mixture in the pan and I'll arrange my fish in it. That's why I like this pan. Do you see how wide it is? It's good for fish too. I just arrange my fish in it. Then I'll pour the rest on it. I pour some in it first to prevent the fish from sticking in the pan. Okay, that's why I did that. I add my a stop cube, my Maggi shrimp tablet to it. Give it a quick stir by shaking it. Cover it and allow it to boil. Our stew is about to boil. Can you see that? Hmm, funny story. I've been hearing people saying fancy, fancy. Hey, the way people hype fancy, fancy food. So one day, a certain girl was talking about fancy, fancy again, and I asked her to describe what the fancy, fancy was because I meant this food. I've always been telling myself that one day I must eat this fancy, fancy because the way people hype it, you know, it must be so delicious. So she now explained to me that it's fresh fish stew, and she explained. I was like, ah, so that's lamu mutadi or akbamu mutadi. So, I was like, I've been eating this all my life. If you are from the coast, you understand. This is eaten mostly by people from the coastal area and I am privileged to be one. So, I've been eating it, but we call it Lamu Mutadi and the fancies call it Fancy Fancy. So, no, no, I've been eating this all my life and I didn't know that that's what they've been hyping as Fancy Fancy. I, the whole day, I laughed. The way I laughed that day, I was like, Ah, this food the way I meant it, you know. That's just cultural difference, so the name that has made it different for me, and I didn't know that I've been eating this all my life. <laughs> I'll swell my stew again. Uh, this is fresh fish, so you don't want it to break, so you don't stir it. The best to do is to hold the pot, swell it around, then everything is we just incorporate very nicely. Our stew is boiling, it's almost about to be cooked. I swell it once again, that's giving it a stir. I'm swelling it around. This time I'll, co I'll cover it halfway. Mm -hmm. Boiling beautifully. My stew is doing well. It's almost done. I'm giving it another quick swell. <laughs> this one is not a quick stir. <laughs> I've 
check it by seasoning is done in half so i'm adding some salt stir it by swirling it again and then add my palm oil this is original jomi so there is no need for me to heat it on fire or season it with onion before pouring it inside it is seasoned already it is the proper jomi so i'll just add it to it directly swirl it to mix everything together add some fresh onions then voila i'll try in some pakboshi talk boy base only some boy base my scotch bonnet pepper then my stew is done like that You can eat this with anything, maybe rice or any type of akple, but I like it with amokple, that's the banku. So you'll be preparing some banku right now. That's my cassava dough, fermented cassava dough in the pot. I've added some water and I'll mix everything together. Add my fermented corn dough. Yes, that's how a mokble or banku is prepared. Add my fermented corn dough, mix everything together. Add some salt, put it on fire and stir it. That's just what I am doing. You stir it, you stir it. You don't leave banku alone. <laughs> you keep stirring it. Else, it will form lumps. So. My banku is thick enough for me to start stirring. So just stir, stir, stir to break all the lumps in it. Mm, I've added some water to it to make it softer. I'll stir it, dish it out, and serve my lamu mutadi with it. Voila, our. A mock play or banku is ready. This is our Namu Mutadi of Fanti Fanti sitting right here. And I'm just coming to serve myself and enjoy. <laughs> yes. Look at this. This is so delicious. Yeah, it's beautiful. Like the stew is beautiful, right? Everything is beautiful. Make yourself some fancy fancy and you will understand what I'm talking about. This is Lamu Mutadi or Akba Mutadi or because this is tilapia. We always will call it Akba Mutadi. Fresh tilapia stew. <laughs> Look at this. I've served my agmokple with my akpamutadi, my banku with fancy fancy is ready. Please guys come and dig in. I hope you will prefer this food. I'll see you in another video. Until then, so bye.